Hey Game Makers, Pixelated Pope here, and welcome to another episode of Pope Plays, the show where I play games created by members of the GM community and provide some critique and general feedback. Today's game is Brewbreaker Agnes, and unlike previous episodes, I've actually been following development of this title pretty much since its inception. It's being developed by community member Grog, who's a buddy of mine and whose art I've been using in my recent tutorials. Brewbreaker started as a Devtober one-month project, but is now on track to be released on Steam this year, and possibly consoles if things work out. So let's jump in and see what we got. Alright, so it's got a pretty snappy menu here. I like that. Uh, I know I'm not I'm not gonna jump into settings this time. I've already been in there and it is not pretty. Uh, so we'll avoid that for now. Uh, but he does have some cool settings planned. So let's just jump straight into the game. Uh, I've been told that playing with a controller is the way to go. So uh, we'll... I like the transition. Very, everything's very snappy. Uh, this doesn't really come as a surprise to me because he's... Uh, Grog is using my twerp scripts, I believe. Uh, and uh, yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, I like that. And I like the little like uh, circle transition thing. It's a nice look. So it looks like we just got arcade and score attack. Uh, so I don't know if there's like a tutorial or anything, but I know this game is very, uh, it's kind of Arkanoid-ish. You've got a breakout, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but the, the twist is that ingredients for potions fall into, fall from destroyed bricks and into a cauldron at the bottom of the screen got kind of a witch theme it's pretty cool and you've got to block the wrong ingredients from falling in and try and survive because if the wrong ingredients falls in it hurts you so let's just jump in all right Okay. So control feels pretty nice. Love the music. This is I don't I don't know who did the music, but I probably need to look into that. I'll definitely uh be throwing some credits. Oh, I like how the score in the clock is in the back as well. It's very nice. Some subtle lighting effects going on. Okay, so I'm pushing the A button. Okay, we want to let that. Oh, we want to let that fall. So that is the correct ingredient, which I'm having a hard time. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. I can't remember if it matters whether the star hits the. You know, let's see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that hurts. Okay, we do. We don't want to do that. We want to make sure our star. So, worth worth trying to catch the star, uh, rather or collect something that I want to fall in rather than let the star fall in. So uh, over in the bottom left, you can see I've got a uh, health bar and a mana bar. Uh, so I can push the A button to uh, swing my wand or whatever, or like do a magic attack and give the star superpower. And that deals more damage to the bricks and it's all good. I do like how she kind of fades away as she gets closer to the uh, Man, I'm having a hard time getting that last, that last, uh, last brick. Go. No. Okay, so I can only swing. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Ten seconds remaining. Oh, okay. Maybe that's not timer. <laughs> I like the little loading screen thing. That's cool. Okay. No, that's definitely a timer. Okay, so we got a new ingredient. Now we got a little slimes and a pumpkin. So let's get this going. Okay. 
man, I just, the polish, every, everything seems really nice so far. I like the background. Is there any, is there any animation back there? Some animation, some subtle animation, some like parallax clouds or something would look really cool in the background over there. Uh, but I like the subtle lighting effects and like kind of fog effects that are, okay. Oh, I want to block that. We already have, we already have pumpkins. Okay, we want to, sweet. Okay, so now we're looking for a, I wonder what happens if the, Oh, so that one, oh, that's too bad. The one didn't uh, count, even though it fell in right after the other one. There we go. That's what you want to see. Let's catch that pumpkin. Yeah, I love the, the art is just super charming. Uh, I love the the fumes coming up from the cauldron and the the particle effects behind the star. Uh, okay, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that didn't hurt. Oh, okay, interesting. So if the wrong ingredient falls in. I guess that's all right if the wrong ingredient falls in. Oh, okay, so we got purple bricks now. Oh, so nice. Uh, is that... Oh! Wow, I screwed that up. That wall chicken? Yeah, I really screwed that up. Is, is chicken an ingredient? Do I need to prevent that from going in? Let's find out. Let's just let that chicken slowly float. So I feel like there's a few mechanics that I'm not quite understanding the consequences of. Like I don't, like I can't remember what, like as, as a player who is new to the game, I'm not sure if I'm being rewarded enough for uh, doing something correct that I know that that's the correct thing to do, or if I am being punished enough or immediately enough for something that is a quote unquote bad action. Uh, and you know, there may be like, should I have? Okay, see that's pretty direct feedback, but I didn't like take damage or anything. So I guess it was just an ingredient uh, and it just has a different fall pattern uh, than usual. So I want to stop the wall chicken from getting in there, but I want these other two things to go in. Oh, dang it, I accidentally grabbed that guy. I do wish there was something I could do while the the star's kind of up and doing its thing that uh, would help me regain my mana. I don't know. I, I have no idea what that would entail, but... Uh, Okay, so wall chicken does heal me. That's good. Is it only wall chicken that heals me? Let's get some wall chicken here. Okay, I am running out of time. 
god, what happens? What happens when I run out of time? Do I just have to, like, fail the level? I kind of want to let it happen now, just because I'm curious what the consequences are. I might not have a choice. I might just... Oh, it's coming down to the wire. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh. I love the death animation and the death effect and everything. Oh, wow. I just, I just lose. I'm just out. Uh... It'd be interesting to contextualize that, like, and maybe that maybe the whole game could be contextualized a little bit more. Why is she brewing potions? Why is it imperative that she does them in a certain amount of a uh, certain time limit? And the consequences apparently are death. Uh, but I don't know if you plan on having little story cutscenes or maybe trying to tie it more into gameplay and how. The countdown timer works and how the potions being brewed what that represents uh but giving a little bit more like you've got a great theme going here with the witch's brew and the the brooms and the magic and the castle and everything and the wall chicken it's all great i just want to see more of the gameplay elements mixed in with that so uh why am i brewing potions why is it imperative that they're the correct order or the correct number of ingredients and uh uh yeah so let's let's go again let's not suck this time tall order i know uh and we will see if we can get a little bit further and uh maybe there's some different mechanics that get introduced as you get down because uh, I, I see a little little circle next to next to her health bar uh i assume this is agnes the titular character uh and haven't seen that come into play yet so i also i kind of wish i had some more options when an ingredient is going towards the pot and the star is also going to the towards the pot uh and i'm not sure like is it better for me to catch uh like i get points when i catch ingredients right do i get more points when i complete a potion than i would have if i had just caught the ingredients uh i, pr I assume so but uh i haven't noticed that yet so it might be that that needs a little bit more reinforcement that that is the optimal way to play. Come on. And a little, a little end screen on that a little like capcom countdown the time and like bonuses for doing things properly uh maybe if i don't put any if i take no damage don't pick up any of the wrong ingredients uh you know all sorts of skill based challenges could be uh rewarded uh doing that sort of thing you know that's cool Okay, I didn't want to grab that, but that's all right. Brewing multiple potions could be rewarded. Just kind of give the, uh, the, oh, that's going to hurt. Give the end of, end of level a little bit more of a wrap up, I think would really help. Like, what if I go through a level and don't brew a single potion? Do I just, does my score just suck? Uh, having even sort of an expected, ooh, a metal system, like a, to, to, to shoot for would be really good. So I know, well, you know, I get a bronze medal if I don't, if I pass the level, but didn't finish any potions, I get a, 
silver medal if I only finished one and a gold medal if I finished two, you know, more bonuses if I didn't take any damage or didn't drop the star once, stuff like that. Really give players lots of things to consider when they're going for a high score. Uh, but this is fun. Like, like, it's just kind of like... Like, I just like playing it. Like, it really feels good to kind of fly around and, uh... Right, I was supposed to catch that one. A little distracted. Oh, whoa. I'm gonna blame that on my analog stick. Okay, we want that one to fall. There we go. Let's get some wall chicken up in here. Oh, I need that. Thank you. No. No, I'm going to take it. Boom. This is the level that got us last time, right? Okay, this time, less failure. So sad. Oh. I don't know if that's my controller or something I just don't understand, but sometimes she just zips to the left. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm playing with the analog stick and don't have your dead zones set properly or something. Okay. The, yeah, the analog stick feels a little sensitive, so uh, a dead zone uh, and bonus points for a dead zone setting uh, would be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna eat that and eat, eat that. Cool. I love the voice acting too. Like, it's just such a nice little touch. And it does a good job of reinforcing things I've done correctly or incorrectly, which is always a good thing. Oh. There does seem to be an awful lot of chicken that restores my health. Uh, hmm. See, it'd be cool if... I feel like it'd be cool if I could maybe make myself smaller, sort of increase my... Uh, hey, hey, we got past it. If I could make myself smaller, it'd be harder for me to reflect things, but easier for me to weave in between things to only uh, only catch the star and send it back up. That could be an interesting sort of risk and reward of, uh, you know, move with more accuracy, make it easier to catch only specific things instead of being so wide but you're more narrow so you can let more things into the pot than you may want i don't i don't even know what that would look like but okay oh wow okay so i must have screwed that one up good okay definitely want some blood in this potion What is what is the blue thing? I haven't I can't quite identify what that is. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. I need a cut. 
lot of these things. Too many things. Okay. See, in some ways, it's like... I'm not sure how I feel about that. Because I feel like I should be rewarded for getting those giant runs. But it ends up dropping so many parts on top of me that uh, I end up just taking damage. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. So I guess that's all the levels you got. Uh, it was definitely getting more challenging and maybe maybe that's part of the intended challenge and I, I imagine there's some mechanics that you haven't quite got in. But overall, uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, I really enjoy the polish. Uh, I think there's a lot you could do to kind of contextualize things and uh, keep on polishing. I see a shop profile versus mode could be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's awesome. I had a lot of fun with it, and I hope you got some good feedback out of this. If you have a game that you've been creating in Game Maker and want me to play it on the channel and give some feedback, let me know on comments below, Twitter, wherever. Uh, I'd also like to thank my patrons for their generous support and helping me keep this channel ad-free. Thank you so much for watching. Now go make something awesome.